Um, I made a list of some things that um, we realized that we should have brought or didn't need to bring. Um, what we didn't need to bring were um, Chris's extra shoes. Uh, she she wanted to bring the Minimus because she had her big hiking boots and she thought she would want to take a break from them today. But her feet were so swollen that she couldn't put them on. We also brought um, more than three of the little detergent packs and we only really needed, we, we brought two packs of those, so three in each, so six total. And we really only needed two, maybe three. We didn't need to bring soap because the, the lodge had them and the only reason we were afraid that they wouldn't is because it's kind of like a campground and we weren't sure how bare bones the facilities would be. Um, there are no televisions anywhere on the north rim. None of the, none of the rooms have them. Our room was one up from like the hostel type bunkhouse, so we did have our own bathroom and shower and it does have soap um, in it. Um, we did not need to bring two headlamps, although tomorrow we are going to leave when it is still a little dark. So ask me tomorrow night and I may say, yeah, the headlamps are good. So it probably, um, that might be something that you want to think about if you're leaving in the dark. There were a lot more people on the trail than I thought that there would be. It is May um, 25th or something. I don't even know what the day is anymore. But there were a lot of people on the trail, so I didn't feel like we were ever in any danger. We didn't need to bring as much safety type things um, as we did. The trails were really well marked, so I didn't need to bring a compass. Um, we took the South Kaibab to Phantom Ranch and the North Kaibab up. Tomorrow we're going to take North Kaibab down to Phantom Ranch and take Bright Angel up. The reason why we're going to do that is because we parked at the Bright Angel Trailhead because that's where we stayed. And we want to get out of there so fast when we're done that um, we didn't want to wait at the South Kaibab Trail for the shuttle and then take us around to the Bright Angel Trail. So that is something that you want to think about too, is where you want to park. Um, are, do you think that you want to take a shuttle when you're leaving or when you're coming back? Because you're going to have to take it one way or the other. We brought more food than we needed, for sure. But at the same time, we've snacked on some of that food today and we didn't have to buy as much food at the general store. But the general store is pretty well stocked with bars, with sandwiches, um, crackers, Gatorade, uh, Powerade they had, um, hot chocolate coffee. So if you don't want to bring any food, then um, you can certainly buy food at the general store. Um, we didn't need to bring bug spray. There were no bugs in the canyon. There weren't any bugs until we got to the very top of the canyon near all the mule poo. Um, so we didn't need to bring bug spray. What I wish we would have brought were some uh, some foam earplugs because both the Bright Angel Lodge and the lodge here, the walls are like paper and I can hear the people breathing, going to the bathroom, everything, talking quietly and whispering. You can hear the people. So I would wish I would have brought some earplugs. Um, a very small deck of cards. Um, Chris got me a little tiny camping card set last year and that would have been good to have too. Um, Must-haves that we found were the trekking poles. No way would I want to do this without trekking poles. It saves your knees going down and it helps distribute the weight going up. And Chris has knee problems and it totally helped her. Um, wearing gloves because with the trekking poles I know that we would have had blisters. Um, the trekking poles we were both using were some um, leakies. Um, my Osprey pack, for sure. I wouldn't have done it without that. The nerd strap on the glasses. Um, every time Chris took off her pack or did anything, her glasses fell on the ground. So guess who went and got a nerd strap at the general store? Uh, so that's really helpful to have. Um, really good socks not just like running socks or you know socks that you walk around in you know at, at wherever your home is but good hiking socks um, i use the swiftwick wool or the smart wool um, thick socks um, we both have mountain hardware pants and um, the same ones actually and they're really nice because you can put a lot in the pockets 
and you can zip them off. And um, because the temperature difference was 40 degrees, actually tomorrow is going to be even more. Um, it's going to be closer to 60 degree difference. We did change clothes several times. But if, if you look for pants and you're doing something like this, I would look for the kind of pants that, um, that cut off shorter. Um, ours cut off down here, and I would cut them off shorter because we ended up um, putting shorts on under our... We took our pants completely off and just wore really short shorts because it was really hot. Sunblock, definitely you need because you are completely exposed. We reapplied, I think we applied three or four times yesterday. Um, bringing, we each brought, we put stuff in gallon bags and we used those bags for ice and we went to the ice machines and filled them up. We iced last night, knees, hips, neck, feet, and we iced again today and we'll probably ice one more time um, this afternoon, maybe again tonight. Completely changes everything. It really helps the recovery. I'm a huge proponent of I ice almost every time I watch a movie I'll run to the freezer and get an ice pack at home. Um, so icing helped a lot with the inflammation. I recommend making sure you know what the landmarks are. Even though the trail is very well marked, we, we didn't have our map handy to see where the landmarks are and it was more for our sanity because we didn't know how long it was from, you know, from one, from Roaring Springs to Cottonwood Campground or, or something like that. So um, knowing that some things point, you know, are three miles and then six miles would have been helpful for our sanity. So tomorrow when we hike back, we're, we're going to have a paper handy um, with all of those things down there. Um, something else that we were really glad that we had was the Band-Aid Blister Glide and um, you can also use like a body glide but the Band-Aid Blister Glide it was a little tiny tiny one that I just stuck here and we put it on our feet um, I didn't get any blisters Chris got one blister on her toe um, and I we used it like different chafe points throughout the day but um, we actually didn't have any chafing because of the blister block and the only thing we the problem we had was um, one toe blister and 24 miles of, of serious hiking. Always consider the water availability and the temperature range and we found that um, I didn't we didn't run out of water but we also were smart about filling our water um, along the way and um, knowing where the water is going to be. I wore trail runners. I love the Brooks Cascadia. I've worn them for years and I can hike fine in the trail runners. Um, Chris wore actual keen trail hiking boots um, and it's more supportive for your ankles so if you have ankle problems this is a more a strenuous enough hike that you would definitely want to wear um, the hiking boots. We didn't need any clothes. I mean I slept in my you know I slept in my underwear and a shirt um, that I hiked in yesterday and then we washed everything in the sink and um, this I didn't wear for very long yesterday because it warmed up pretty fast so um, you know you don't need to pack very many clothes just what you're gonna wear because everybody here smells anyways. One thing to know about the North Rim is that um, when we got here and we finally got to the lodge we were starving so we dropped all our stuff and we went in to the restaurant and we found out you have to make reservations for the restaurant so it was a little anticlimactic and I was kind of a, I was kind of in a bad mood about it for a while because I felt like I deserved something more but tonight we did get a reservation for five o'clock so I highly recommend making a reservation but make it for a couple hours after you think that you're gonna make it like if you think it's gonna take you 11 hours maybe make it for 13 hours and have some snacks to eat when you get get there because um, if you don't get there in time then you just don't get any food. But the food in the deli and um, the saloon and the general store it's not overpriced. The gift shop is great. It has some beautiful jewelry and um, and those things are not overpriced either. That's the end of uh, day two rest day.